Where shall William we William Johnson oh. is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. Hmm, Pitcairn is our next target, trying to take out the American weaponry. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. Who could it be, Big Bird? A letter bringing man. The post office begins. A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... <laughs> That's a quick way of you know, making up our mind. We will take... What is this thing? Can I ride this? Traveled by caravan. I don't know why. We, I mean, we can't just open up our map and travel, so... Not really sure what the benefit of interacting with this point versus just like popping the map and dropping the marker down is, but hey, it kind of makes me feel a little more special. To the edge of the homestead we go, Frontier beckons. And from here I think it's back to the lovely, lovely, lovely city of Bostonia. Helping out some Paul Revere-ness. Right here. Bingo. Do, 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 do. Whoop! I always, they always have you facing the opposite direction. It's a little weird. But fine by me. Two quick fast travels and we are raring to go back to town. Connor, Connor, Connor. What's Desmond up to? Guess we'll get to see him after this sequence. Couple sequences, then a Desmond bit. Couple sequences, Desmond bit. Wonder if the end game though will all be Desmond, like a sequence. All oh, these guys are angry. Hi, don't mind me. I'm just the dude that kills all your dudes. But hey, we could be friends. I'll make you brownies. All right, maybe not. But either way, we will run our butts back to Boston through this British encampment. There are a heck of a lot of them. I'm surprised they don't even notice me. I'm also surprised the fast roll point is this far out of the city. You think they would place it right at the docks or somewhere? I mean, I guess I could have taken my boat, but... Relax. I don't know. We'll go for a run. Go for a run back to the city. A lot more environmental travel in this game than uh, any of the past Assassin's Creed, I think. Some... I guess you could argue this is the biggest. Although, I don't know if you can quantify, like... City big is the same as Frontier big, because there's a lot less stuff going on. Whoa, that lady just jumped weird. A lot less going on in the Frontier than in the city, so even if a Frontier is, you know, say, 50, you know, whatever, square miles, I don't know, I'm just making this up, but a city was, you know, 20, is that more because there's more density there? Let's grab, let's grab this real quick. Please and thank you. I like opening up all these points just, just because it gets a, a better lay of land, you know what I'm trying to say. A mouth freeze just happened there. 
my words went crazy, but my hands and feet did not. As Connor still magically climbs up, no one sees him. Or seems to care, and I'm going to keep in mind that I need to find the best direction to jump off, because uh, we don't want to <laughs> kill ourselves with a fall like we did last time we were trying to synchronize one of these points. Alright, let's look for the haystack down below. Uh, I don't think you can land any of these. There seems to be nothing there. I mean, I can try jumping here. I don't think there's any hope of him to possibly make it over there, do you? Oh, maybe? Wow. Got quite the push off there. The gift of a swimmer. Michael Phelps would be proud. My youngest brother, Noah, swims. Very good. For his age, of course, he's no, you know, giant in the pool. He's only 11, so he's tiny and quick like a little guppy. All right, Paul Revere, where are you? Reveal yourself to me as we take down the evil band of brothers known as Hamath's crew. Haytham, Hamath, what's, what's his name again? Haytham? Hamath? Haytham? Haytham Kenway, I think, isn't it? Something like that. That sound familiar to all of you? I think that taking down the Pope and stuff, or like the uh, people that were trying to become the Pope, like that whole Roman thing, might have been the most intriguing um, like villain slash target in this the series history. Um, but I will say that this one has a pretty darn good story premise. Cause I think because also because I'm familiar with it, like much more so. Um, it kind of rings more true in terms of like, oh yeah, I know what's going on here. Although at the same time, I kind of know what's going to happen more so often than I did uh, in past games. Looks like we're pretty darn close. To his house, where is your house? Paul Revere. Whoop. Are you guys surprised that I'm climbing these roofs, people? People of Middle Earth, wait, okay, that guy was. Da 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 da. Paul Revere, we are coming for you. Where, where's this guy's house, man? Where is it? This it? Yeah. Oh, I can just fast travel there? Dang. Well, shiver me timbers, now I know that boats allow us to teleport to them as well. Thank God. Lesson learned. Won't let that happen again, guys. Girls, sorry about that. Didn't realize you could fast travel amongst Boston. I just thought it was within. Let's start this mission off. Paul Revere, what's up? Ah, Connor. What a relief. You came. <laughs> Allow me to... To introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on land, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. All right, a coordinated attack. Or a defense against an attack. A counterattack of sorts. Seems like we're going to start getting into some of those larger scale. I know you guys have seen uh, in the commercials or previews or different things that there's large scale battles um, where there's literally like hundreds of soldiers on, on the screen on field. Um, 
jumps. So it'll be interesting to see if this is one of those times. Ha! Huh. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. What? We gotta share? Ah. You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'm trying, I'm just saving your boat, dummy. Goodness gracious, Mr. Picky Pants. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Okay, which way, USA? Go left up here. Okay. 